Today, we're talking soaps. Soaps? I love soap operas, especially when there's an evil twin. I give the best gifts to people, and it's because I'm Jonathan Fong, so people expect that. Uh, but my secret is that I don't spend a lot of money on them, but I do something personalized so that the gifts are heartfelt and people really appreciate that. So one of my favorite personalized gifts is personalized soaps where I put an image, whether it's a person's photograph or their kids or their pets. First, let's talk about the images we want to put on the soap. I have done images of my two dogs, Fossey and Gershwin, and I have printed them out on a sheet of paper to the size of the soaps that I'm going to use. Next, you want to pick the right kind of soap. I like to use a soap with a flat surface because when it's a flat surface, it's easier to apply the image. So let's apply the image to the soap. And to do that, we'll use some Mod Podge. So first, we'll put a layer of Mod Podge right onto the soap. And then put our image right on top. And then cover the image with one more layer of Mod Podge. And then we'll just let it dry. All right, now, after we've applied the image to the soap, we still want to seal it so that you can use the soap in water and the image won't wash off. And to do that, I'm dipping the soap into hot wax. Now, don't be afraid of hot wax here. I'm making it really easy. And the way I've melted the wax is with an electric skillet. Now, I bought this electric skillet for like 20 bucks, and I don't know why people use electric skillets. Uh, don't people have kitchens? But I bought this purposely for this project because once I put wax in it, I'm not gonna be able to use a skillet for anything else. I'm not gonna be stir frying in it after you know, there's wax. The type of wax I like to use is beeswax and it comes in these bricks. I already have about a half inch of melted wax in the skillet, but if you're ever running low, you know, I just take the brick of beeswax and rub it onto the skillet and you know, the heat from the skillet just melts the wax and I get a little bit more in here. Now let me show you how to dip the soap into the wax. I don't want to get my fingers in there, so I'm going to use some tongs and I'll just hold the soap with the tongs and you'll just dip it into the wax for just a second. And ta-da, it's done. If you do it for more than a second, you know, you'll just get a thicker layer of wax and you don't really need that. All you need is this thin layer of wax and that is enough to protect the image. So it's drying before our eyes and because there's this thin layer of wax here now, when you use the soap, the image won't wash off. Oh, I love this project, and I know that you're thinking of all the people that you want to make personalized soaps for, too, with my photo on them. Just kidding, not my photo, but your photo, or their photo, or their kids, or their pets. The people I've given these gifts to just love them. And unfortunately, now they're going to find out how little I spent on them. Ah! So the next time you have to give a present to the person who has everything, think about personalized soaps. It's a clean idea. Mm -hmm. Wow, that project was amazing. You know what's really amazing? I'm not your evil twin. I'm really your father. No!